Yo, what's the word? What's the word? It's your boy Nick Nami, aka Nami. And we back. Hey, yo, wow. And we back at it again with another reaction. You know what I'm saying? Hey, bro, I never watched this. Uh, CJ DeChamp, Escanor from Light Sketchers to Black Forces. Escanor got that Black Force energy? I'm guessing that's what they're saying. You know what I'm saying? We all know Eskimo got that Black Force energy, but before we look at it, if you put, wow, looks a little bit chapped, you know what I'm saying? But if you could, please like, comment, subscribe, and join the society, you know what I'm saying? Let's get right into this video, because I'm already seeing Aang, and I'm not going to cap. But my boy had, like, what, two million views? Oh, yes, sir. Yes, sir. You know what I'm saying? I don't know it's going to be a smash ass shit. By the way, how y'all been? Y'all been good? Gucci? Oh, no, thank you. You know what I'm saying? I had to ask y'all real quick before we started. What the heck? So we gotta be thinking, there okay, is. okay, this man gotta be dead, right? Right? This man is still standing here, and he only scratched him! Oh, my God. I'm messing with this intro. This intro pretty hard. I ain't gonna cap. Alright, ladies and gentlemen. It is finally time for another installment of the most disrespectful moments in anime history. But today, we have something special. Cause you see, this is not just a disrespectful video. Nah, we are also returning to the round table of Black Air Force activity. Because a new challenger is on the horizon to be judged and to take his seat at this round table of menaces. But ladies and gentlemen, please rock. Wait, who's at the round table real quick? Let's go look at that real quick. Challenger is on the horizon to be judged and to take his seat. Broly, uh, yeah, moderate, yeah, down from, yeah, 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 Kid Buu, Yujiro Hanma, yeah, 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 eh, Omni Man, eh. Yami, bro, yeah. Aaron, you already know, bro. Yeah, okay, okay. I'm liking the roster. I'm liking the roster. I'm liking the roster of Black Force Energy. I'm liking See, I'm at liking this it. round table okay. of menaces. But, ladies and gentlemen, please rise as it is time to praise the sun because Escanor has finally arrived to take his seat. Like, this man's arrogance is just straight up unmatched. Dude will literally go 0 to 100 in a second. Like, this man is so prideful, so arrogant, just straight up disrespectful. I just had so to give him his own episode. So, y'all already know we got the evidence on deck. But before we dive into the evidence, we have to give a shout out to our sponsor that is sponsoring this trial today, and that would be NordVPN. Oh. NordVPN is one of the easiest VPNs to ever use. With NordVPN's amazing speed, it is confirmed by the speed testers at NordVPN. NordVPN is a f link in the description. NordVPN.com slash CJ to champ. And again, thank you, NordVPN, for sponsoring this video. But, ladies and gentlemen, because they're not sponsoring my video. Without further ado, <clears throat> Exhibit A. Now, ladies and gentlemen, I now present to you Exhibit A. Bodying the Ten Commandments. So while Bonnie, Lane, and Jericho are on the run from Galen and Melaskula, they end up falling into a ravine and they're trying to find a place to hide. So they end up finding this cave and they see this door. So they walk in the door and they end up finding a tavern with this dude. So when you're watching this for the first time, you're looking at the screen, you like, who is this skinny ass? And bro is scared. He's like, hold on, hold on, holy night, nah, G. Hold on, I'm not trying to get arrested today. So then he starts talking to Bond, and Jericho's like, wait a minute, you know this skinny ass nigga? Hold on, hold on, cuz something is off. So he ends up hiding them in his pantry. So then Gallon and Melaskula pull up, and bro is shitting bricks right now. So they end up getting wasted in his tavern. And they like, ooh, yes, we like you, cuz. Shoot, when we wipe out humanity, we gonna keep you alive. But then they like, all right, bro, give it up. We know them niggas hiding in that pantry. But then Gallon's like, you know what? Let's play a game. If you win, I'll let them slide. All you have to do is literally have a turn-based battle with me. Bro literally wants to have an actual Pokemon battle with this man. And if you- you tell me bro really wants to take turns like PK fire? You know what I'm saying? That they do like, like some Yu-Gi-Oh type stuff. Like, 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 you know what I'm saying? Like, is that what he wants to do? Like, you know what I'm saying? Right? No? Okay, never mind. 
run away, you turn into stone. So dude just straight up slaps him and he is out cold. And Gallon's like, damn, I thought I only tapped a little on the shoulder. <laughs> Sorry ass. So then it turns morning and the sun is up and homie is still laid out. So then Gallon is looking at this wall and he sees this ginormous ax. So he ends up trying to pick it up, but he can't even lift it. So it's like, damn this heavy ass ass. What the <laughs> fuck is this mule near or some shit? But then bro snatches it right out of his hand. I was like, nigga, get your filthy ass hands off of my damn axe. No, I feel sorry for y'all niggas because y'all came all the way here just to die a painful death. So they like, hold on, wait a minute. No way you could be human. But he like, nah, I'm a human, I right. But the thing is, I stand above demons. I stand above gods. I stand above everybody. I will literally step on your ass. So then we finally see this is Escanor, the sin of pride. And my God, this man is prideful, all right? Bro looks like he put on at least it about 500 great. pounds just worth of pure raw muscle. And his whole personality just took- Goodness grief, like, Jorgen Bone Strangle. Pride, and my God, this man is prideful, all right? Bro looks like he put on at least about- That line tattoo- About 500 pounds. That line tattoo looked pretty hard. Oh, bro, you see the little cross in, in the lion's eye? It has to mean something like some foreshadowing, probably. Sounds just worth a pure raw muscle. And his whole personality just took like a whole 180 turn. Dogs like I had to take off the light up sketches and throw on the black one, so what's good? Oh, so Gallon's like, oh, you bold, bold. You the most arrogant bastard I've ever met. So Gallon starts laughing at Eskimo. It's like, <laughs> yes, yes, get out of my face. He just chopped him in half with no warning at all. So Gallon reattaches himself. And he's like, oh, yes, I like this, my boy. So then Eskinor basically says, yeah, uh, I basically kind of held back on you because uh, there's no point in one shotting you because that's no fun. So Dog gets pissed off because he's basically just been humiliated. So then he charges up to full power and he's like, all right, then you want to talk that hot shit? So be it. So bro just whacks him at full power. Like, my God, bro, the mountains have split. So we gotta be thinking, okay, okay, this man gotta be dead, yeah, right? Yeah. Right? This man is still standing here and he only scratched him. Oh my god. <clears throat> Bro was still standing and he only scratched him. Bro, that has got to be the most humiliating way to ever die, bro. You ended up dying playing your own game with your own dumb ass stipulations that you made with it. And Escanor talking heavy right now. He like, shit, I don't blame him. I mean, it was against me. So then he's looking at old girl and he's like, listen, uh, so I don't hit females. So I'll give you a choice. You can escape or you could die. Just pick. But then she ends up activating her DSLs and she's like, what's this? So she just straight up snatches this man's soul and straight up eats. But this man's soul is so hot, it literally starts frying her insides. Looking like she just ate a whole bag of talkies and ghost pepper chips. So this man just straight up deep fried her and turned her into a piece of charcoal. And she is done, GG's. So then he starts talking to Bond and he's like, listen, my boy, it's almost noon. So you stay your ass here and that's an order. <laughs> bro, man ain't even a captain and he giving orders. Hey, yo. Oh, nah, bro. This man's different. So after this, no, Escanor decided to just take a little side quest. So we ended up fighting Gother and just straight up slapped him from hand with his memories. Then after this, he just straight up one shot of Gothini and drove. Then look at him. He like, next time you play with my memories like that. I'm gonna slap the f out of you. So later on, the Ten Commandments launch a full attack on Leonis. <laughs> and everybody is paralyzed because of Esterosa's commandment, which is basically anybody that stands before him literally like cannot move. They can't attack him or anything. Escanor's big ass is walking what? right up towards this nigga. Bro's like, hold on, hold on. Why are you moving right now? And bro's like, why should I bear any hatred towards somebody weaker than myself? All I feel is pity. So dog gets right up in his face and he's like, yeah, your pack gonna be hit real good. Hey, ain't no gonna cap, ain't gonna cap. That's like some like, that'll send chills up my spine. I was like, hold on, I see you bro. Okay, Escanor. <laughs> Show me that pride. I see you. Good tonight, boy. Bro, Escanor or Saiyan. 
Escanor and Vegeta, who got more pride, y'all? Escanor and Vegeta. Then this man says, please don't harbor any hatred towards me. If you would be stricken by the own effects of your commandment, then it wouldn't be any fun for me. <laughs> yo, this man basically said, hey, yo, you better watch your own powers, bro, because that might end up backfiring on you from being face to face with me. Yo, this man is a demon. So then Esterosa just so I'm tired, I know. I took a bit of drill. Awesome. And Eskimo's like, oh, so it's like that then. Okay. And then he just pile drives him all the way down. And then he kicks him all the way up like a damn elevator. He just straight up comboed his ass. Oh. He's like, damn, he getting his ass beat right now. But dude ends up throwing a punch and he blocks it. But the punch oh. was so strong, it drops him. Dog's like, oh, what's wrong? Did a coin fall on the ground or some shit? Don't tell me that little weak ass punch I just threw just knocked the wind out you. So then they end up swinging again, but he ends up using a full counter on him. So while Esteros is explaining his ability, Escanor's just patting his scratch like, wow, no wonder I actually felt pain from that. It was my own strength. So he charges up his son and he's like, hmm, I guess I gotta get serious myself now. So he just straight up blasts his ass. Dude literally launched him all the way to the lake. Dude, this man is just riding the sun looking down at him like, Wait a minute now. You're telling me Ah. <coughs> ah. <coughs> <coughs> uh, 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 okay. You're telling me that this man is riding the sun like a nimbus and is looking down. I, I haven't even got this far into the anime. I'm going to be honest with y'all. I need to watch Seven Deadly Sins. I heard it's really good. I need to watch that. Like, I need to get on that ASAP. Like, I used to watch that, but I stopped. And I need to watch Fire Force, too. <laughs> you really thought you ate that shit, didn't you? Bum ass nigga. So then he just straight up slams this sun in his face and drills this all the way to the bottom of the lake. And Dog said, No, I'm not even done yet. So then he blows it up and it just straight up eats evaporates it entirely and he is walking towards him without a care in the world right now look at him he technically just deep fried him in the lake so to get to scrap again but esterosa ends up using a full counter and looks like he just blasted his entire face off so esterosa thinks he's already won he's like yeah i'm smoking your pack tonight cuz all that muscle for nothing you sorry as hell but oh boy <laughs> would you look at the time it's time so while he's standing there, his chest gets split open. And bro starts talking. He's like, wow, you really thought you ate, didn't you? Who decided that? You thought this was over? Who decided that? Bum ass nigga. I decide when this is over. The dog's like, do yourself a favor. And f*** out of my face. So he just sends him flying. Bro is gone. And then Zell just comes in and tries to stop it. But that's just dumb. So they both gone. Adios. Dude just really fried them off the map. So yeah, that was Exhibit A, and it's time to move on to uh Exhibit. That was just Exhibit A. A. B. All right, ladies and gentlemen, I present to you Exhibit B. Exhibit B consists of running Meliodas' pockets and embarrassing a god. <laughs> so as we can see right now, Meliodas has lost his damn mind. So yeah. Escanor is like, hmm, looks like I gotta clean up the little boy's mess. So he tells Merlin to trap them both in this cube. So while Meliodas is in his assault form, bro is talking mad heavy right now. Bro's like, shut your fat ass up, you lowly human. So Escanor is looking at him like, hmm, so you wanna fight, boy? So Escanor is like, yeah, I'm in a good mood right now because I can <laughs> finally prove while I'm better than you. Look at your no, whack. What? Look at your animation quality. Whack. So they start swinging some Meliodas system with the Beyblade. Let it rip. So Meliodas ends up stabbing Escanor and bro ends up falling back. So everybody's like, ain't no way this boy just lost. But Merlin's like, nah, G, hold on, hold on. Just a few more minutes. So Escanor gets up and he's like, wow, that actually kind of stunk. You pretty strong, my boy, but obviously second to me. Oh my 
God, bro, this man is getting bigger, bro. He has no neck. Emilio just ends up punching him in the chest. And he puts his nasty ass, low budget, stink ass feet on his face. Like, come on, bro. So they continue to scrap. So Melio just swings, but his sword ends up getting stopped by this man's muscles. I was like, get this weak ass butter knife off me. So then he starts swinging, but Melio just ends up using this man as a human pinball. So Melio just thinks it's over, but ho, ho, ho. Look at the time. I know. <laughs> oh my god. This nigga looks like a fusion between Abomination and the Hulk. So then Meliodas attacks him and slices him about a thousand times. But then bro turns around and looks at him like, wow, that tickles. What? So he uses his hand, cuts the literal air, and it one shots him. <laughs> nigga hit him with a divine chop. So then he's looking down at him like, how does it feel? How does that feel to get looked down on by a human? You bitch ass nigga. Even though this animation quality is ass, it still didn't stop me from whipping your ass. Oh my God, bro. He just bodied this man, beat him so bad he made him look like a Roblox custom created character. So later on, Escanor's walking down this alleyway with Hulk. And I ain't gonna lie, man's is acting hella down bad right now. Man's is like, oh. Lady Merlin, let me get in them cheeks. I just want to sniff of the coochie, that's all I ask. So while this is happening, the Archangels are getting drunk off their ass. And the Dosio's like, my God, what is this presence? Is this a drink hitting? So then he flies outside. He's like, hey, yo, big and fat ass. What y'all doing out here, man? Then Eskimo's like, oh my, Princess <laughs> Margaret has been taken over by a 300 for that and 2000 for this, way too expensive. But today I'm going to show you guys how to get all this stuff for a lot cheaper. So then he jumps up and he's like, <clears throat> pardon me, but uh, it disgusts me to be looked down on by someone smaller. So allow me to reintroduce myself. My name is Eskimoor. Pleasure to meet you, bitch. <laughs> Yo, the audacity of this man. Dude really had to take the high ground to assert his dominance over a god. So Ludosio starts attacking him. <laughs> this man is just straight up slapping his sword away, bruh. Dog is looking at him like, uh, bitch, can I help you? So he starts swinging again, and dude is weaving all this John, dog. I was like, can you please calm down with his temper tantrum you were throwing, ma'am? So he grabs him, but he escapes, and he ends up chopping up his whole shirt. So then Ludosio basically says, all right, listen, my boy, uh, you got my brother's power, so uh, I'm gonna need you to run your pockets. But then Eskimo okay. points at her, and he's like, shut your stupid ass up. I ain't relinquishing shit. You know what? Matter of fact, run your fucking pockets, bitch. So bro just straight up <laughs> evaporates his sword. And he's like, you should be grateful I'm slept her. Get out of your dumb ass for running up on me like that. Ugh, the King of Arrogance strikes again. So yeah, that was Exhibit B, and it is finally time for our final exhibit. Exhibit C. <clears throat> exhibit C. What could get any worse? All right, ladies and gentlemen, we have finally reached our final exhibit. Exhibit C. Exhibit C consists of... I was about to ask, how can he run any more pockets? Poking Zeldris and jumping the demon... Poking Zeldris and jumping the demon king. So as we can see, Ludosio Merlin and Escanor are squaring up with Zelda's Cusack and Chandler right now. Yo, <laughs> look how he is looking down at this man, bruh. Looking down at him like he's about to discipline his child or something. So while they're fighting, Zelda uses this move and it's like a literal vacuum. So while everybody's getting pulled in, look how this man anchors himself down. God, yo, this man is just a straight giga muscle. said, I'm not moving an inch. So Ludosio ah. ends up getting stuck on Escanor's back. And look at him, he's like, wow, you need a piggyback ride or some sh So Ludosio's asking for help, but Escanor's like, nah, G, I'm good. Matter of fact, what gives you the authority to give me orders? So Ludosio's like, who the hell do you think you talking to, nigga? I'm a god. And bro's like, uh, okay, congratulations. You want a cookie or something? Sorry, but I don't obey weak niggas. But then Merlin's like, bro, just help the bitch. So then he grabs her like a toy and he's like, all right, then uh, you better have a good plan or else I'm gonna let your ass go right here, right now. But then they end up getting slammed into a wall again. So then Eskimo's like, all right, yo, I I'm sick of this. I'm about to discipline this boy. So this man gets up and he is straight up walking what? through the vacuum. And man's is talking heavy right now. He's saying first Meliodas, then Esterosa, and now yo bitch ass. My, my, looks like I got to body the whole family now. And then Zeldra's talking and he's saying, nah, I ain't like them. I'm built different. Then Escanor just laughs at him and he's like, shut up, boy. So he slams his axe into him, but his axe ends up cracking. 
I was like, you know what, bro? I don't even need the axe. So he just straight up chucks the axe. And Zeldris is like, hmm, you've laid down your weapon. You must have accepted death, haven't you? But Eskinor is like, nah, nigga. I don't need a hand for your ass. So he gives him the divine chop. And oh my god, look at Zeldris, bro. He's like, oh my god. Oh my god. He's only using a hand. So Zeldris steps back, but Eskinor is like, nah, bring that ass here, boy. So he hits this man with the divine poke. And straight up pokes him. That right there might be one of the most disrespectful things in just history. Bro, Imagine so, fighting somebody and they beat. He got so giant that he poked him, and it beat him. Beat you, bro. I had to watch this anime by poking you to death. Nah, bro. I would never show my face again. So after this, Escanor actually ended up losing his power of sunshine, and the Demon King is attacking, and this little thing is licking this man up right now. Like, Jesus Christ! But then Mael comes down and saves him. So then Escanor's saying, "I right, listen, bro. I need sunshine back." But Mael's like, "Uh, you know you will die if you get this power back, right?" But bro's like, "Ah, if I get to run the hands with the Demon King before I die, then so be it." So while they're fighting the demon, this man comes out of nowhere and stops his sword with his hand. Looking at him like, my, my. What? Stops the sword with his hand? Isn't this Meliodas' father? Hello, bootleg Sephiroth. How are you? You see, today is not your lucky day because, uh, look at the time. And this man is talking heavy. Man's like, you whack ass demon. I can't wait to beat the brakes off of your ass. So then he tells everybody to stay out of this. This is my fight and my fight only. So they both just start <laughs> swinging my oh, your... <laughs> What? What? The type of, the, the type of balls on this man. Straight up rock him, sock him. Then he just smashes his head into the ground. He's saying, you are nothing compared to me, you weak ass nigga. Your punch is soft as hell. So they keep on scrapping, and then he turns into like this ginormous flaming Super Saiyan nigga like Infernape. So we get back to the fight, and this man is just eating all of his punches to the face. Then he just started walking him down and just laying all the hands on him. Just absolutely comboing the sh Bro, I know. Bro, I know y'all see this man, Escanor. A whole human laying arms on Out of his ass. So, I mean, we got a little bit of his backstory. And yeah, yeah, this man was a menace. Straight up slap Meliodas and Vaughn. And then he ran out and just literally beat up an entire mountain. So, we get back to the fight and Meliodas is getting mad on him. He's like, bro, you really ain't gonna let us jump in with you? Come on, dog. At least let us get a few licks in. So, he just said, all right, then. So, they just jumped him. And yeah, that was basically raps after that. And yeah, you know, after this, eh, the worst part of this show happened, dog. I ain't even gonna lie to y'all. One of the only reasons I even watched this show was because of this man, dog. Said, sorry, y'all, I gotta ascend to the round table. Hey, I mean, what? at least he got the smooch at the end, though. Yeah, but all right, Peter, really. But he only got a smooch? She could have given him no buns? To do it, man. Hey, bro, Bo was happy, though. So yeah, after all that evidence, bro, just come in, take your seat, just sit your ass down. Just <coughs> Bro, really simped and died for her. I ain't gonna cap. Like, like, like I knew that part. Like, I knew that part. A plane up arrogance in just the absolute zero to 100 switches? Nah, bro. There, there, there should be no question. So yeah, that's basically it. Uh, Make sure y'all go sub to the second channel. We're actually starting Elden Ring this week. Also follow you, boy, on IG and Twitter, and uh, I'm out. I've been playing Elden Ring. I need to start uh, doing that more. But since this is the end of the video, hey, man, you guys enjoyed the video. If you guys enjoyed the video, though, please like, comment, subscribe, and join the society. You know what I'm saying? Hey, man. Without further ado, it's your boy Nami, a.k.a. Nami. You feel me? You dig? Deuces. And I'll see you again on the next reaction.